The weather, lots more happening in the world. The family of a British woman jailed in Egypt for drug smuggling have told Sky News they're devastated after learning they must wait 60 days to appeal her three-year prison sentence. That's right. Um, Laura Plummer from Hull was arrested in October while trying to enter the country with a banned painkiller, which is actually legal on prescription in the UK. Well, Miss Plummer's family have told us they now fear for her life as she faces the possibility of being sent to one of the country's toughest prisons. Sky Sarah had Begary has this report. Laura Plummer's family say she's a broken woman, barely recognisable after two and a half months behind bars. Today she's beginning a three-year prison sentence in Egypt for bringing banned painkillers into the country and it will be a long wait for a legal challenge. 60 days before you can even put in for an appeal. So what's going to happen in these 60 days? Do you know, it, what's going to happen to her? She, she thought she was coming home. We all did 60 days. It, it's not like prisons in England. It, it's a living hell. Her sister says the family are all suffering as they fear for her survival. Well, we've all been sentenced. They've sentenced the whole family. We're all absolutely devastated. It's not... It, it doesn't even describe how we feel. It's just an absolute living nightmare. It's affected all our lives. To hear your dad crying on the phone every day, to see your mum in a state and when you go to visit Laura, she's, she's an absolute mess. How can they do this to a young girl? Laura was arrested in October after police found 290 tramadol tablets in her suitcase. Her family have insisted they were for her Egyptian boyfriend of four years, Omar, who she was visiting. He was in court with Laura's mother, where her defence argued she was unaware the painkillers, which are legal in the UK, are banned in Egypt. Local journalists say her sentence could have been worse. I think it is a pretty lenient sentence by Egyptian standards. Uh, you know, if this was a... You, I mean, you have to consider that in, e in Egypt, people are handed down very, very serious sentences, life sentences, death sentences uh, for really quite trivial crimes at the moment, uh, like insulting the president. A young woman from Hull will be starting a new year thousands of miles from home in a foreign prison with no hope of release for many months. Sarah Hedrigari, Sky News.